for every item, you're going to have at the very least two lines on here. So the top line is what's called a take line. The next line down is what's called a place line. And so it's telling me to take this product from the dock and then go place it into a bin out in the warehouse. These are controlled by something we call a put away template. So you can have a put away template for overall controlling your location and all the items, but you can also give items, specific items, put away templates. So if in the case of your quality, if you have some items that you do want to be put away into a quality bin right away, we can have a put away template for that that says go to one of these quality locations first. And then we can have another put away template for all the other items that you're fine just putting in the warehouse. And that is a hierarchy of where you want to put it. So we would check things like, does this item have a preferred pick bin? Is that preferred pick bin less than what I want to store in there? If so, put away to that bin. Otherwise, we want to maybe go to some bulk bins and just find an empty bin to put this product to. So as the put away is getting created, it determines through that thing we call a put away template, what's the best bin to put this product to. So it will tell you right off the bat where to put this to. Okay. Typically, your put aways are going to get done on the scanner. So if we back back to our main scanner interface, you're going to have an option for put aways. So if we click there, that's going to show us a list of all the put aways in the system. There's a lot of little things in the scanner that make it a lot more effective to use than sitting at a computer doing stuff. So as a warehouse employee, all I'm seeing right here is a list of numbers. I don't quite know exactly which put away the item I need to put away right now is part of. So you can do a lot of scanning in these list forms. Uh, so if I were to just scan an item right now, this is going to filter that list out to here's the put aways that contain that item that you want to put away. This is an Android based software. It does work for Windows as well. So this will work for both. But on the Android side of things, we can also long tap up here and we can add columns here too if we need to. So you can add maybe document numbers or assign it to specific people and um, be able to see that. So we can play with these lists too to get more information just on the list. But if I go into my put away now, this will show me here's all the items I need to put away and where I need to put them away to. Looks a lot more user friendly than on the computer, a lot less lines. So a put away on the scanners knows that you have to take it out of that receive bin because that's where it's currently at. So it's really only showing you the place lines where you should put this product to. Okay. So our process here. It's always going to show you what it's looking for towards the bottom of the screen. So it wants us to scan a bin first. So we would grab our item off of the dock and then we would walk over to a 1C03 and we would scan that bin. So once I scan that bin, it's going to show me and verify that I scanned that bin. And then we would scan the item that we're placing there. When we scan items, we can pop up pictures as well if you want to make sure that we're grabbing the right things and make it a lot more visual. And then it's going to show us quantity of how much we should be putting in that bin. And we say, OK, this quantity prompt is really configurable. So I have it set to just show me exactly how much I should be putting in that bin. If you want to make sure that your users are scanning absolutely everything, we could forego that quantity pop up altogether. And just every time you scan an item, it'll place one each or one case, whatever, depending on the barcode you scan. So that's all user defined. If you want to put in quantities or just have the scans be the entrance of the quantities. So we'll say OK here. 
and then that item is going to drop off my list. So we can drop off as you're working, your items are going to drop off the list. So you're only seeing actual work that needs to be completed as you're going. So we'll scan our next bin. We'll do 01 B02. So we don't have to work these in order. If you don't work want to, you can work in, in any order that makes sense for you. Scan our item, show the picture, and it tells us how many to put away. I imagine we can't fit 100 in that bin, but maybe they're little models. Right? So we could have it so that these bins are just blank and you scan a bin. The way I have this configured, it's telling me what bin to take it to. So in order to change it, I'd need to go to my little hamburger menu here and say change the bin. And then it would ask me. So once I scan that, then it'll change it. You don't have to scan everything. We can have different workflows on the scanner too, based on whether you're using touch interaction or scanning. So like if you notice, whenever I scan an item, so when I scan an item, the picture pops up. But if we're just using touch interaction, the picture doesn't pop up. I can have different workflows based on if you're just tapping and touching or if you're scanning so we can block things down for scans but maybe make it a little more flexible for touch interaction and then once we're done everything's empty and off my screen we would just hit that hamburger menu again and hit the post button so these scanners are a web service integration to business central so it's all live data getting pushed back and forth. So when I post on the scanner, it will post on here. So if I refresh the screen, this put away goes away and will no longer be there for me. So when I post on the scanner, I post in Business Central. Everything is live data back and forth. So when we post those putaways, that's going to do the movement. So as you're doing the scans, that product systematically is still sitting in the receiving bin. Once you post the putaway is when it's going to move from the receiving bin to whatever bin you chose to place it. 